Now, in terms of getting doujinshi, unfortunately, m the vast majority of it is not translated into English, hmm. um, or certainly not um, in, in paper form. So you could go to a convention, for example, you'll often find doujinshi, there'll be one or two sellers, hmm. dealers, um, but you're going to have to um, read Japanese or just enjoy it for the pretty pictures. <laughs> uh, or you can go online and, and find folks who've scanned a lot of doujinshi, you can, you can download it that way. Um, but you're not going to be getting you know, the legitimate copy, you know, unfortunately. You know, th again, th there's no money in this, <laughs> so nobody's you know, g uh, trying to do anything professional. Wow. Yeah. So, so are, there, are, there, are there circles that sub then just because they're fans of the yeah. doujinshi, mm -hmm. just like we have with... <laughs> yeah, with manga and anime and all that. Yeah, so, so there are folks who will go in and translate certain authors or certain creators of doujinshi. Um, and uh, they'll translate those in certain ways. Um, unfortunately, um, a lot of the adult material gets translated, but not a lot of the non-adult material. I think there might be some motivating factor there. Possibly. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff. So, for example, um, Yoshitoshi Abe, the creator of Hibane Renmei, the character designer for Serial Experiments Lane. Um, Hibane Renmei, the series itself, actually was a doujinshi. It mm -hmm. started because he wanted to um, produce a comic for, doujin for, for Comic Hat, he wanted to go there and, and have a booth and sell just like any other uh, 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 mangaka there. And so um, he started drawing this, this, this comic. And he, just, he said he just wanted to sit down and just start drawing and see what happened. He got two pages into it, and then his producer at the, at, uh, with the anime walked in and said, what are you doing? Um, started flipping through, he got two pages in and said, we have to make an anime out of this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, so that was originally published as a doujinshi. And again, I, I believe there have been some fan translations of that, but that's the kind of stuff that's kind of more interesting that uh, we don't get as many translations of. And a lot of the stuff he's, he's published in that just has not been translated yet. How often does that happen, that uh, a, a work goes from doujinshi right to anime? That sounds... Uh, I won't say often, but it happens um, every so often. It, it, it does happen. Um, so the Fate Stay Night franchise started as doujinshi. Um, uh, there are a variety of different things. It started as you know these weird little little comic projects. Hibane Renmei is a, a, a big example, um, where generally it starts as this, this fan thing. Uh, if you've heard of a When They Cry, Higurashi, mm. um, there's another franchise that started as, as do, a doujinshi uh, video game, actually. Uh, so um, yeah, it, it, it does happen now and again. Um, one of the things that the big industry does is they look at um, comic hat and they look at doujinshi artists to see what are the trends, what are people buying, what's popular. Um, so if, if a show has hundreds and hundreds of doujinshi um, off of it, then they know, okay, we were going to push more money into that one. Um, and then if, there's, if there are authors or creators within that who are doing interesting things, then they can sometimes contact them and bring them into the industry. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so a lot of uh, cases, a, a doujinshi artist the will then get hired. Foot in the door. Exactly. So they'll get hired by a studio based on their work in doujin. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Are, 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 uh, do people in the U.S. do doji? Not do really. Um, fan fiction is, fan is generally fiction. what you see. Um, so it's more stories as opposed to, to drawing. For some reason, um, comics have not really taken off as, as a fan thing. Part of that is that in Japan, folks have grown up with manga, and they've grown up... It, it's normal in, in Japan to doodle manga characters and anime characters when you're growing up in elementary school and so forth. So folks are used to doing that, used to doing the sweat drops and the, the <laughs> nosebleeds and all that stuff. So you get a lot of, of that kind of training growing up. So it's a little easier to jump into doing a, an 11 page manga, for example, or dodinshi, um, as opposed to over here, because we don't often have that experience growing up. Have, having everybody grow up with that exposure are Comics, illustrations, manga, doujinshi, is that more acceptable throughout all the different ages <laughs> of society? Um, or, uh, in the extent. U.S., most, most comics are looked at more as younger folks' right. uh, entertainment. So, um, to an extent, um, this has been kind of overstated to, to a certain um, element. Hmm. S certainly, adults um, in Japan do read comics, but it's not something that... Um, adults will happily chat about reading comics with each other all the time. Hmm. Um, um, so it, it does happen, but it, it's seen as something of a thing you do on the side, it's a fun little thing, but um, it's not considered a serious literature, that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, there is certainly a lot more comics read by kids in Japan, partly because there are a lot more comics, period, in Japan. 
Um, so there's a, a massive industry yeah. of comics, you know, being being pushed at them um, all the time. Whereas over here, we really have Marvel, DC, and a few independent labels. Um, so it's just a, a much more mature industry over there. Um, um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's similar to America, but it's it's certainly more acceptable at, at, at uh, older ages to, to read comics. Hmm. And of course, over here, you know. It's no longer uncommon yes. you know, to be an adult and say, "I read Thor" or whatever. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, it's 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 become more acceptable uh, as as fans are growing older and uh, they have enjoyed them and they exactly. share them with their their children. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So here are just some examples of uh, of uh, various manga at work. So uh, what we've been showing here is an example of some manga being displayed on a table. Uh, people um, have published their their own manga there. Um, here's an example of, of uh, a creator with actually a self-published doujin video game. So, video so it expands even all the way to video games. Absolutely. Well, the, the video game tools are, are now so expansive that uh, it's a lot easier for you to make your own video game with the tools out there. So especially, again, if you have the artistic skills, you can draw these things. Small batch video games. That's almost custom, yeah. <laughs> custom work. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, what what is the circulation usually of a digin sheet? Again, it, it's similar to what you have for manga. They will sell twenty copies, thirty copies, maybe fifty copies. Um, at Comic Cat, um, you, you'll get something like twenty thousand circles. They're called um, groups that that uh, make dojinshi at Comic Cat. Um, every six months. A circle, is that a group of people? It's or? a group of people, maybe just one person, but it, it's, it's one to many people, basically. Um, and so you get about 20,000, 30,000 um, of them there. So it's a wow, lot. That's yeah. Only <laughs> <laughs> well, get half a million people just coming to buy stuff. So, that's yeah. A big <laughs> <industry>. <laughs> it's a big industry. Um, so, in terms of the numbers, there are a few, maybe a couple of dozen circles that will sell 1,000 copies. Hmm. The vast majority will sell 20 copies, and you know, 30% will sell one copy. <laughs> so it's that kind of, uh, kind of a world. Um, and most people will, you know, will sell a few copies enough to pay off the table and kind of their expenses coming back and forth. Wow, this is really artists exhibiting their art. It is, absolutely. Um, and the other nice thing is because Comic Cat is twice a year, and there are a few other Dojinshi um, events uh, around Tokyo and Japan in general, <laughs> is that, that that creates a push. Um, you know, as soon as one Comic Cat is done, it's like, well, Let's start working on the comic for the next comic cat, you know. <laughs> so there's this constant push to keep having new content by all the circles. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, and here's a, a good example of a, ta a table, the, the kind of table you'd see at Comic Cat. Um, so uh, artists behind the table and then their comics uh, arranged there for people to um, to look. You can come up, you can flip through the comics if you want to, see what you like, and then buy them. And they're cheap. They'll only be um, the equivalent of a few dollars uh, each. Oh, um, nice. Yes, it's basically just there to pay for the paper and their time. Wow. Uh, yeah, it, it's a whole world. Definitely worth supporting and checking into. Exactly. And, and you can do it to support artists who are trying to be creative with, with characters and situations. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully you'll find something that's uh, new and interesting. And, I mean, to that point, you know, you may stumble across your favorite uh, anime creator or, or um, illustrator there who's publishing a doujinshi. You've heard of Love Hina. Mm. Um, he makes doujinshi of his own work and so <laughs> it a comic Oh, wow. He does. Uh, you can, I, I suppose that gives uh, the original content creator a little bit more flexibility in taking their characters where their publisher may not exactly. necessarily want them to take mm -hmm. their characters. So yeah. More of the real story behind the story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you also have the advantage that you can do things that are more... Um, uh, avant-garde, you can do s things that just... Experimental? Very experimental stuff. Um, Hybrid Renmi is a great example where um, Abe drew a, a two-page prologue to the whole story, which, ex which backfills a lot of the, the backstory. No dialogue at all. Um, and he did that kind of to say, okay, how much can I express without using any dialogue? Mm. Um, so there's a lot packed into those two pages. And you can do that in Dojenshi because no one's telling you you can't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So that's Dojinchi. I've got to check that out. <laughs>